Some would say that we're not that unique and we're very generic in the sense that we deal with a broad range of, of uh, clients and a broad range of needs and a broad range of, of what brings them here. Um, but in other ways, I think we're very unique. Um, so, I mean, our clients uh, predominantly would be children who have gone through uh, a number of child family service resources um, that may not have met their needs very well, could be foster homes, could be other group homes, could be all kinds of situations that perhaps didn't meet their needs or broke down or, or whatever, and then they came to us. Usually those are situations where children come from child family services, on reserve, most of our children come from on reserve communities, and then they're, they're brought here. Um, in terms of you know what their needs would be, I mean that can be very diverse. It could be from sniffing, it could be from ne parental neglect, it could be from parents who have passed away tragically and there's a lot of trauma history there that we're trying to address in terms of grieving and loss and all those sorts of things. Lots of our children come with um, some form of addictions uh, uh, influence, whether that be fetal alcohol or just working or living in a home where there's been addictions issues which often leads to poverty or, or um, abuse or, or all those kinds of complications that come from addictions. Um, so, I mean, our children are across that spectrum. And so they have very diverse uh, backgrounds, very diverse personal interests, but they come here and the one thing that's, uh, that's, that I think all of our staff do very, very well is say, hey, we're here because we care about kids and we're going to have real relationships, we're going to care about kids, we're going to make sure that you believe that we care about you. So it's not just about coming and, and you know, having a job that, you know, where we get, you know, good remuneration from. It's a great job. We get well paid. We got good benefits, all those other things. But above and beyond that, they go home saying, hey, I do a very important thing. I care for some pretty fragile kids. I would say one of the things that we do a lot of, um, or that I'm pretty proud of within our home, we have a, we have a, most of our children are First Nations. So there's always been this discussion about, you know, doing culturally appropriate activities, meeting our children in a culturally appropriate way, finding, uh, finding authentic uh, opportunities or exchanges or, or whatever to meet them in their arena to even to build relationships. So a lot of what we do, um, I think our activities are, are uh, unique in that we do things that I think are, are traditionally, culturally appropriate for First Nations kids. We go on canoe trips, we do trapping, we do hunting, well, pretend hunting because we're not obviously going to use rifles. Um, we do, you know, calling of animals, they learn about hide, they learn about uh, beating and hide work, they, <clears throat> they do a host of things that we, the, and, and it's about our staff, they have those interests and if they don't have those interests, somebody else that they're working with that day has those interests and that's, you know, we're all working together to provide these kinds of experience.